Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails. Welcome back to the channel. I have got to watch me work and it's on my mom's nails. Now, it's been a while since I've done her nails. The last time I did her nails, you guys saw it was that winter set, you know? So she is in need of a new situation. So I'm going in with the beep hand sanitizing spray. Um, and obviously for disinfectant reasons, but also because, you know, this helps to soften her cuticles a bit. Um, so I'm going in with the cuticle pusher and this video is sped up. I'm not going this harsh on my mom. Like I know better. I get smacked across the face or the bum, whichever. You're never too old for that whooping. Okay. Um, and then I'm using 150 grit sanding band um, to get a rid of that surface shine. And my drill, I'm pretty sure is on 4,000 RPMs. And it's only after the sanding band um, that I go in and refine the free edge for a nice rounded shape. And I guess, you know, these steps probably don't make sense to you, but they make sense to me. Um, and then this cone bit, this sanding bit, oh my gosh, it is a diamond bit and it's like a very thin cone, but it's flat at the top and it gets rid of that dead skin, but also pushes that cuticle back. I love this. And it's so, it just comes with my drill. It's like really cheap. I didn't pay any money for it. And then that sort of helps me be able to go in with my flame bit and notice I'm not actually changing directions of my drill bit. I just take the sanding band in the sorry the drill is still in the forward motion and I'm just going um, from one end of the nail to the other and I just move the fingers around to accommodate this but yeah uh, going backward and forwards I'm already slow so I don't need to be um, taking any more time um, now my mom does have a bit of a cuticle situation which it just it just means that I really need to be better about doing her nails but I'm going in with the nipper and getting rid of that dry cuticle and they're um, there's quite a bit <laughs> there's I need to do a better job you know what I mean um, so I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys something that I probably have never told you guys it generally can take me um, sometimes 10 hours to do a set I couldn't tell you why I get complacent I get slow I get whatever but I've cut that time down to five hours you guys so I'm cleansing the nail and um, I've gone in with dehydrator and two coats of protein bond and all that and I'm going in with a very thin coat of Gershon um, base coat and then I will be um, curing that for 30 seconds before I go in with color number one in the Gershon poly gel red kit which is it's kind of like the Mia secret multi balance clear not a lot of pigment um, but you know really good for just a you know to add an extension or add structure to the nail before you go in with the color so I put the bead in the center of the nail work up to the cuticle and then from center to left cuticle down to the left side wall and then back to center to the right cuticle, right side wall, fixing up the apex as I go and then um, working it down the free edge. And ever so often you see my brush disappear, it's getting dipped in a bit of the Gershon base coat, which is my preferred uh, slip solution. So back to how long it takes me to do a set. You guys, it would take me 10 hours to do a set yeah which is harsh on a client you you know they want to pay but my clients were so good about just supporting me they would clear their whole day and just spend that time with me like i'd make them breakfast and i'd make them lunch and then like you know we we kind of like a you know like an early dinner and everything and these i my clients are pretty amazing but that was not going to cut it not with doing nails and youtube for a year and a half and doing nails for two years doing youtube for a year and a half no not no i needed that growth so I set myself down, not on this set, but on a set I did before this, and I was intent on cutting the time down to at least four hours, because girls here in the Bahamas do sets for, you know, about four hours. Um, I cut it down to five, and I'm hoping to cut it down even more. So the first set that I cut down, I cut it down to five and a half hours. This set on my mom, um, I cut it down to five, but I think I could have got it down to even less than that. My mom just has a habit of fidgeting. Lord love her though, <laughs> Lord love her. Um, so I'm curing this for 60 seconds with the lamp on low heat mode, working from hand to hand. Um, yeah, just, you know, maximizing that time, you guys. You can do it. If you wanna work on your time, do it. So here I'm showing you the mylars that I'm going in with. There's a unicorn one that sort of reflects a bit of purple, and then there's a purpley um, pearlescent one. So on two of the nails on each hand, I have not applied any poly gel, but here I'm going in with a very thin coat and I'm pushing that up to the cuticle, touching all the side walls, covering the surface of the nail and getting it down to the free edge. It's a very thin coat because um, 
I want something between the nail and this mylar because when I have to file it away, I'd like to, you know, file it away. So I go in and cure this for a full six. Well, no, I don't. I don't cure it. I don't. Here's what I do. I dip the dotting tool in a bit of base coat and then I pick up the mylars and then I start putting them on the nail into that uncured poly gel, you guys. At this point, my mom's like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? But she's, you know, she's letting the process happen. Um, so I'm going into that unicorn mylar, then grabbing pieces of the um, pearlescent purpley violet mylar. And, you know, every time I pick up a chunk that's not right for one nail, I add it to the other. And I'm sort of just doing this like balancing act, trying to press them in, which is good that that poly gel is not too thick, but also thick enough so that the mylars can sink into. And, you know, I'm just trying to create like a little effect here, you guys. And then I will cure for a full 60 seconds once I'm comfortable with how sunk in those pieces are. And then I'm gonna go in with another thin coat of poly gel just to encase that first layer because we're gonna do another layer of the two different types of mylar to get a definition. Now, I was not going for an amethyst nail. I swear on my life, wasn't going. Wasn't going for that. You know what, I don't swear try not to do that but I promise you that this was not what I was trying to do it just ended up looking like that like dang um number 23 inside my head could you have told the other 26 of us that you were trying to do an amethyst nail I swear 23 is a problem y'all she don't communicate well oh so the other 26 of us were just like oh my gosh well I guess 23 going for an amethyst nail you know what I mean so anyway she decided to, you know, two layers was good enough for her. So she was going to encapsulate the nail with that same um, color number one from the Gershon's red poly gel kit. My mom's nails are too, man, they're too short. Like this is my fault because every time I don't get to doing her nails, they chip, they break. And she did, you know, she did say to me, you're always doing my nails short. Well, it's because your nails are short, but I'm gonna try to stay on top of these, this situation, you guys, and give her a bit of much needed length because it does affect um, product application. So we will be getting, you know, monthly updates on my mom's nails. Anyway, everything's all cured. And I'm getting my paper towel and I'm cleansing the nails. FYI, your girl owns cleansing wipes. I do, but you think I'd be using them? No. So now I'm getting my ceramic panna five and one bit going around the cuticles. And this is where I'll be taking down the bulk of that poly gel, which is good because those glitter mylar nails, I built them up kind of on the chunky side, especially with the encapsulation process, because it's not like how with acrylic, you know, the glitter mattifies and it lets you know that, you know, you've covered all of the glitter. No. So I had to make sure I had enough on there because there was no indication whether every piece of mylar was covered or not. You know, it was all shiny. So I just, I, I, I caked it on, I'm not gonna lie. After that, I do take my um, Glitter Bells metal, 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 metal filing board. <laughs> and then I go around the cuticle area, the free edge, surface of the nail, all that really good stuff. 180 grit side. You guys peep the products in the corner. Hey, you know what? I kind of look like I know what I'm doing, sort of, kind of. It it depends on the opinion, you know? Um, so here's a little thing that I did. I wanted some white alcohol ink. Decided to take a few drops of some, actually, no, this is just regular um, air dry nail polish with some acetone, and I created my own alcohol ink. There you go. So once I did that line on there, about two lines, I went in with a bit of acetone and I took them down a little bit, added more where I felt more was needed and boom. You guys, that's my alcohol ink until my uh, Nicole Diaries one gets here. So here is the White Lotus Born Pretty Stamping Gel. I know it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Will they last? Will they not? Are these worth it? Are they not? We will find out. Tune in next time for another episode of... I'm just, no, I'm, I'm getting like Dragon Ball Z flashbacks. <laughs> okay, so dotting line, do, uh, dotting line, detail brush, drawn some random lines on there um, alongside the alcohol ink lines that I did. Once I have them on, I'm feathering them out a little bit with this brush that has been lightly dipped into some acetone. Um, again, 
number three didn't even tell nobody she'd be trying to do an amethyst nail on here she just wildin she's wildin out here you know on this you know in the streets of my brain unchecked unchallenged doing what she want to do you know and it's it, unruly is what it is well anyway she doing her thing we letting her do her thing whatever she gets the one video and you know we only we only let her come out once a year for this reason her attitude sucks <sighs> only person who can really talk to her is 24 why because he right after her <sighs> disrespectful anyway yes number 24 is a guy my brain likes a bit of perspective okay so anyway now you get a close up on that definition that we were creating um, with that born pretty snapping gel. And I will be doing that on all of these mylar encapsulated nails. And then I've got this new matte top coat that I'm testing also alongside the um, born pretty snapping gel is this homost um, matte top coat that came in a um, poly gel kit that I got. So yes. Uh, so I'm also testing the um, the uh, white born pretty uh, gels in terms of like um, you know just regular nail art you know I'm going in with the dotting tool doing two dotting tools drawing a little bit of hearts when I was doing these hearts my mom was like uh, 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 girl I don't do white <sighs> and I was like mommy and I had to word this wildly because again I'm 31 I will still get smacked I was like mom I'm not gonna paint your nails white I'm just adding a little bit of detail one or two hearts so this can qualify as a Valentine's Day nail because I'm doing a Valentine's Day series and I haven't actually done a Valentine's Day nail like what do you want me to do I gotta do something before YouTube be rioting in the comment section no one's done that you guys are amazing but she wasn't having it and I was like just could you could you just watch me and see what I'm doing <sighs> she'd be doing the most Okay, so now I'm going in with Violet, Born Pretty Stamping Gel. This is a true test. Will it stand the test of time on a full cover situation? I'm putting Violet all over the pinky, the ring finger, and the thumbnail. The last three remaining nails on the hand. So I'm telling you, tune in for the next episode of Dragon Ball. Oh, wait, no, that's not the name of this show. Okay. <laughs> tune in next week. For another episode of day and august nails no but i will really be updating you guys on the status of my mom's nails and you know what what i will be doing so that we can really see you know everything come alive i will be um videotaping what her nails look like before i take them down and do everything so you probably won't see like a full takedown prep situation on my mom i just showed you guys this because we hadn't seen a nice long prep on my mom's nails in a minute and just in case I not got new subscribers, I'd like to see, I want them to see how I prep the nails. But, um, yeah, you guys, this video was a long one. Thanks for, dude, if you're here up to this point, yo, appreciate you. I really do. So now I'm top coating these nails with shiny top coat. And you guys, top coat means it's the end of the video. You know that. You know this time was coming. So I'm going to top coat these nails. Watch the mylars really come to life, curing in the lamp for a full 30 seconds and this 60 seconds. And this is Gershon's top coat. And then I'll proceed to cuticle the nails and all that. So thanks for watching. If you haven't liked the video up till now and you do like the video, hit like so I can know that you like the video. You know, leave a comment in the section. Uh, share. Follow me on social media. I don't know. Subscribe even, turn on that notification bell. You guys, here is a video and picture of the finished product. Look forward to the product list below. And um, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. It's a Valentine's Day series. There's gonna be one tomorrow. Love you guys for watching. Promise to see you in the next one. Bye.